Okay, in this video, we are gonna find the line integral of a vector field um, over a particular path. So um, our key thing that you wanna notice when you approach this problem is that uh, that F right there is not a lowercase F, which means it's not a scalar function. It's a capital bold F, which means this is a vector function and it's a very or vector field. Um, and there are very different approaches to solving these problems. So uh, we have our vector field and we're gonna integrate it. And so in practice, what you actually end up doing, so I mean, that's a dot product, so f dot dr. Um, but in practice, what you end up doing is the integral from like a to b, f of r of t. So we're gonna parameterize f and then dot product with r prime of t dt. So that's what you wanna like focus on because that's what you're actually gonna do. And now it's all about figuring out what, what to sub in and where. So um, our bounds are given, right? They're zero to one. Um, f, our vector field, uh, that we need to find f of r of t is up here. So it's z comma xy comma negative y squared. So, I mean, uh, just looking at it, that kind of looks like a made up vector field, but that's totally fine. We can just do it. Um, so we're gonna substitute uh, r of t into that. So r of t has an x component, a y component, a z component, and we direct sub everywhere we see x, y, and z in our vector field. So here, uh, I need to substitute for z. So z, if I look over at r of t, is radical t. So I'm just gonna have a radical t. This is still a vector, um, I'm just substituting in. So next I need to do x, y. So if I look at it, x from r of t is t squared and y is t, so it's gonna be t squared times t. And then I get negative y squared, but y is definitely t, so this will just be, uh, negative t squared. Okay, now we have to dot product. So it's really important, it's a dot product. Uh, we need r prime of t. So for r prime of t, I'm gonna need to figure out uh, some derivatives. So the derivative of t squared is 2t, the derivative of t is one, and the derivative of radical t is one half t to the negative one half, and then everything dt. So now we've turned this whole thing into, uh, we didn't do the dot product yet, but it's all a function of t. Um, so it's actually like a calc one single variable integral. And that's kind of the idea here is we take something that looks complicated and turn it into something that's actually pretty simple. So we're gonna actually do the dot product and it'll look even more simple. So for dot product, I just do corresponding components, multiply them and then sum everything up. So first I'm gonna multiply this and this to get two t to the three halves. Um, and then it's gonna be plus, multiply those, you get just plus t cubed, and then plus, I'm gonna multiply these and get uh, negative one half t to the three halves. So t to the three halves showed up twice, and then there, and it's all dt. And you'll find when you do these problems, uh, I'm, this is probably not in real life, but in textbooks, they tend to work out amazingly well or horribly. Um, and this one worked out pretty well because those t to the three halves are gonna simplify a little for us. So we end up with three halves t to the three halves plus t cubed dt. All right, and now we can just reverse the power rule. So uh, it's three halves times, uh, I don't know, two fifths and t to the five thirds and then one fourth t to the fourth. Plug in one, you get something. Plug in zero, you get nothing. So we're just gonna end up with three fifths plus one fourth from plugging in one, which is 17 twentieths, and that's the entire line integral. All right, so key thing to focus on, it's a vector field, you gotta notice that first. Do all your substitutions, remember it's a dot product, um, and then just remember all your like calc one stuff and you should be good. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.